I was lined up behind the blocks and Phil had just brought the national record before me and um, there was a big kind of a hype around the whole national record and I was just thinking to myself, you know, like I have to go here and do the business now. It was a massive, massive run like for me, like 2040, it wasn't quite the national record that, um, that Phil ran, but at the same time it was a very, very good run for me. When you're walking onto the track, especially in Cork, when you see all the familiar faces on the, along the sidelines and the crowd's full and the crowd's cheering and um, because you're in the home crowd, they're, it's, they're, they were supporting me and Tom in that race, Tom was in the race as well and um, it might have actually made a difference in Cork that, actually I'd say it would definitely have made a difference in Cork. Um, just to have um, the Irish like driving it on, you know, and like really like encouraging and supporting the Irish athletes that were competing in Cork and uh, that was brilliant. I suppose Fashion's record is 2030 and it's it's world class, like it really is world class and um, when I crossed the line I thought, I, I felt I was close to your, your guy that won and um, here in 20.1 and I was like, was it going to be 20.3 run, was it 2030 run, you know, I was kind of just, all this thoughts was going through my head and I was waiting for it to come up. Uh, I was always looking up to him when I was growing up, kind of, and whatever, doing the sport, um, all along, like himself, Gillick, Dervil O'Rourke, Heffernan, you know, all these, um, all these people, but Hessian was obviously one of the ones I was really looking up to. Yeah, I, like, I was, disappointed with not winning you know like you go out into the race and you're aiming to win and that's it but um, there's an awful lot of an awful lot of positives that I'll be taking from it going into Berlin because uh, there's a bigger picture as well and um, I'm looking forward to going into the European Championships with that race under my belt there was a lot of um, lots of lots of things I've done right in that race and uh, I'll be taking I'll be taking those forward going into the Europeans so Like look, like you saw the national championships, it was ding dong. Like so, the national championships over the next ten years is, it's going to be ding dong, <laughs> and that's uh, yeah, as PB is better. Like I mean, twenty point two is world class, but um, I'm looking forward to a few more battles. Yeah. Yeah, I really think athletics uh, doesn't get the coverage it deserves. There's a, an awful lot of like serious, serious performances over the last couple of weeks. I mean, I, I'm to put some of them into context for the general public. It's it's probably quite hard to do, but like the PBs and the season's best of people are running are absolutely phenomenal. And um, but it's a minority sport, but we're on the up, and with the talent that we have at the minute, and with the performances that we've we, we've given so far, and that we can give in the future, I think um, I think the media coverage will only go up, and um, we are a sport on the rise. Yeah, yeah getting people out to meets and um, getting them to actually be in the flesh and watch even the national championships and we had a good crowd there but to actually watch the athletes uh, in the flesh I think that's uh, I think the people to really appreciate it then yeah like I mean the youths and the juniors done absolutely unbelievable uh, in their championships and there's a lot a lot of talent coming through and um, once the once the once they're all well-minded and once to the transition from youth to junior to senior um, once they make that transition successfully I think Irish athletics has um, a lot to look forward to in a few years. I'm in the probably top 10 or 12 athletes out there. Um, first day they're going to make the final, I think I'll be there, thereabouts. I'm aiming for a final. Um, but I need to bring my A game to the track, I need to be on form. The beauty of championships is that anything can happen and it's, it's going to be a fight. Um, but I have no fear now. I think I can. I think I can kind of take on the big boys now. Do you know, I can take on them bigger guys um, that are the top notchers in Europe. Um, I'm going to be well up there with them, and I'm going to give. I'm going to give it my best shot out there, and hopefully, it's good enough to make a final.